More now on the reporting on the health of the Trump campaign's fundraising apparatus, now with 53 days to go until Election Day. Earlier this hour, we told you of the Washington Post report that over the last month, President Trump's campaign has pulled back from television advertising, seemingly giving Joe Biden a significant advantage in key states. We reported earlier this week that President Trump is denying claims that his campaign is facing financial struggles, as he said he's considering putting his own money into the 2020 race. The New York Times reports, quote, of the $1.1 billion his campaign and the party raised from the beginning of 2019 through July, more than $800 million has already been spent. And now new data reveals over the last 90 days, the Trump campaign has outspent the Biden campaign on Facebook ads nearly two to one, 61.6 million to 34 million. But that may not be what it seems. Joining us now is Sasha Samatin. He's co-CEO and co-founder of Applecart, a data science firm that advises corporations and political campaigns with targeted advertising, including Congressman Connor Lamb's surprise 2018 special election victory. Thank you very much for so, being on board this So, morning. Sasha, uh, you Thanks actually, uh, your, your firm dug into the archives of all of these ads. What did you find? That's right. So Facebook makes available an, a library of all of the different advertising units that the campaigns are running on Facebook. And what we found was very interesting. Number one, on this particular medium, President Trump is outspending uh, Vice President Biden by quite a bit of money. Uh, and despite running tens of thousands of ad units between the two campaigns, there are actually some key differences in terms of how the Trump campaign is spending its resources versus how the Biden campaign is spending its less substantial sum of resources on the same medium. And, and what are those differences? Sure. So the Trump campaign is actually spending roughly two out of every three dollars uh, in states that are in swing states, whereas the Biden campaign is spending over half of the money that they're spending on Facebook in swing states uh, focused on potential swing voters, focused on people who they need to mobilize in the general election. Uh, the Trump folks are spending that money disproportionately on fundraising. So. Uh, do you have a, a, a number, what, what percentage you could find out of how much of, of their money uh, they're spending on advertising? What, what percentage of the ads are going straight for fundraising? So somewhere between 85 and 90 percent of the money that they're spending on Facebook over the last 90 days, we believe, Jeez. has gone straight into advertising efforts with about two thirds of that spend not even being spent in swing states where potentially those people that funds are raised from might actually be able to make a difference with their votes. So uh, let me bring in Donnie Deutsch. Donnie, if those numbers uh, are, are, are bear out, uh, this is just shocking that, that, that Donald Trump uh, has, and, and I'm sure very discouraging again for people that are giving this guy money, that, uh, according to Sasha, two-thirds of his money on Facebook has not been spent in swing states over the past several months, and that 85 to 90 percent of his Facebook advertising has been to get money to fundraise. And um, uh, that would mean about one out of $10 uh, have been spent on targeting voters, but two thirds of those dollars are spent in non swing states. This is an absolute disaster. And I must say, uh, as somebody who always feared, <laughs> sorry, Donnie, advertising firms, uh, because I found that uh, so many of them were interested in churning and burning. I'm not talking about you. I, I placed my own ads uh, because I didn't want to get scammed. And, and I knew that so many advertising firms, they were only looking at the bottom line. How much money were they going to get out of television ads? But in this case, Donnie, somebody's making a ton of money and 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 they're not targeting voters in swing states. 
you need to know one thing that you touched on earlier. You know, when I was running my agency, we, there was always a dopey CEO. And a dopey CEO, we would take out an ad and a billboard right in front of their office. Like, because that's all they cared about. They would drive, they weren't looking at any real spreadsheets to understand where the money was going, as long as they saw their own. And we have a stunning example with Trump where they spent a million dollars in DC. That's a million. You might as well just give that money to Donald Trump in his pocket and say, here, Mr. Trump, you're a really big, important guy. So there is somebody whose eye is off the ball there. The, the mouth that they are using Facebook that way is, is almost malpractice because this should be trying to unearth the voters, that the turnout, the people that you can't get any other way except granularly. So it's a stunning example of mismanagement in this campaign. And Somebody said earlier that there's a lot of smart people surrounding Trump. I'm not quite sure who those people are, actually. Yeah, you have a question for Sasha? Yeah, Sasha, can you explain a little bit the way, you know, Facebook works differently with advertisers than a traditional, you know, client. Explain how Facebook themselves actually partner up and their responsibility or their accountability in, in, in a lot of the things that happen. Sure. So one of the advantages Facebook provides to advertisers is the ability to really narrowly target your content at specific audiences of people, uh, whether that's voters in swing states or people who are concerned about specific issues. Uh, it makes it possible to advertise to audiences as small as a couple hundred or a couple thousand individuals. Uh, and the Biden campaign is taking pretty uh, you know, effective um, measures as far as that's concerned. They're, they're using those advantages to their benefit to put content in front of people who may not otherwise be informed about Vice President Biden's positions on the issues and to try to get them up to speed. They're doing the same thing, for example, when it comes to the mechanics of getting people you know, through the process of getting out to vote, which is hard in a normal year, and obviously this year is so much more complicated. Uh, the Trump campaign, on the other hand, is, is, is treating Facebook in a similar way to the way they treat broadcast television. They've got a whole bunch of minor variations on a large number of, uh, or excuse me, a small number of ad units, and they're pushing those really, really hard to try to raise more money. Sasha wow. Samiton, thank you so much for your analysis. And by the way, the quick summary is, again, that over the last 90 days, uh, the Trump campaign uh, of the $60 million they've spent two, on Facebook, two-thirds of uh, those ads have been out of swing states. Well, Biden's have been primarily in swing states. And 85 to 90 percent of what uh, Sasha's firm saw uh, was not for targeting, not for getting out the vote, not for getting voters, but just them desperately trying to raise money. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.